Well, first and foremost, we always like to give praise and honor to the God of Israel, of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, sir. Today, we'll deal with a topic. The topic is stop, stop stressing over the shutdown. Stop stressing over the shutdown. I, give it, I like to give all praise and honor to the God of Israel so, so we can come together on the Lord Sabbath day to learn how to keep our salvation in this world today. And it's really important that you understand God's plan. And the plan of God, what's going on in the world today is affecting the plan of God, what's going on in the world today is all in the book. Because so many people today, you can tell when they talk about the shutdown, they are really stressing on it. And you can tell that who's, who, who they have faith in. They have faith in the government instead of God. So this lesson we put together to show you, put your eyes on God. Focus on God <clears throat> instead of the government. If you're focusing on the government, you're going to lose it every time. True enough, you might lose a few things. So what? Just like he blessed you with them before, he'll give them to you again. That's right. And sometimes it's better. Some of, us, some of us need to be stripped a little bit because we are over budget. Mm -hmm. If you can't go a week without uh, paying, your, paying your bill, something wrong. Something wrong. And that's the problem with us. We can't go a week, we can't go a day, then we stressed out because we can't get it. We gotta understand that God gives us principles in the Bible so we can learn how to walk circumspectly, being patient, and not being overloaded. Some of us are overloaded, man. I'm talking about overloaded with debt. And that's the reason why we are stressing, trying to keep up with the Joneses, or I'm living my best life. <laughs> yeah. Your best life is on credit. Your best life is on somebody else's payroll. Mm, come on. Learn, learn, how to, learn how to go a step below. And I had to learn that early on. I've talked to the brothers before. When y'all came in, I had to learn that. I couldn't figure it out until I had some older gentlemen talking to me. But anyway, we're going to get with this government. Let's turn to Luke chapter 12 and verse 22. Let's look at, look at a conversation that Christ was having with his disciples. And they was going through a similar thing that uh, these similar thing that we that the people today are stressing on. Luke chapter 12 and verse 22. You gotta get off that worry now. I'm telling you, people are going crazy right now. <laughs> you tell where they faith at. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Stop stressing, y'all. That's the title of the message. Stop stressing over the shutdown. Go ahead, bro. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body which ye shall put on. He telling his disciples, if you're going to follow Christ, you're going to, you follow Christ, you're a disciple too. That's a follow of Christ. He tells us that, don't be stressed out about this body or what you shall put on. Go ahead. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. He said the life you have is more than what you eat. The body you have is more than just putting on clothes, getting sharp. And most of you get sharp. That's all people got. You let them open their mouth, they ain't got jack. All they got is, oh, I ate at this place right here. Oh, I can eat this. Oh, I can eat that. Oh, I got on some joy. I got on some polo. Whatever. God said, that is not about him. But people are stressing over this stuff. Go ahead. Consider the ravens. He said, consider the ravens, meaning consider the animals. This is how God takes care of the animals. Go ahead. For they need a soul. So now they reap, which neither have storehouses <clears throat> nor barn. And God feedeth them, how much more are ye better than the fowls? 
He said, look at them animals. They neither, neither sow or they reap, meaning that they don't even go out and work. For it's just like we work, but he takes care of the animals. He said, we much better than they are. Why are we stressing over this situation and what we're going on in the world? When you serving the God that created this whole planet. Amen. Hallelujah. It don't make sense. Praise his name. But most people can't see this because their faith is in their paycheck. Mm -hmm. Their faith is in the, the, uh, the job. No, your faith needs to be in God. Period. Go ahead. And which of you which taking thought can add to his statue one cubit? He said, because you're thinking, how can you add another few more years to your life if you sit up there just thinking about, oh man, I hope I live to be 75, 80. You can hope all you want. God already, God already written your death certificate. He already knows you're going to die. Period. But go ahead. If ye then not, if ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Go ahead. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. He said, look at the beautiful flowers. He said, Solomon didn't even clothe like that. He wanted us to consider the small things. That most of the time the world on they don't consider the small things. The animals, how they being fed. The animals are what they, they, they look like or how God has taken care of them. We don't think about stuff like that. They didn't even sow or reap. They still eat. They still eat healthy. But people don't understand this because you look at the world today, turn on the news, they count down. Oh, it's 28 days before we've been shut down. And they're going through trying to blame Trump, trying to blame the president. It ain't him. It's God doing this. And we're going to show you this. Take your mind off him. He's doing what God told him to do. Period. Didn't he say he set up Nebuchadnezzar? Yes, he did. They don't understand the scriptures. God set up all these presidents. We're going we to show you this. But if your focus is still on the tree, the two trees, which is the president and the vice president, you'll never see it. You're always trying to blame a man. You blame God for this if you're if you that bold. Mm. Go ahead. Verse 28. If then God so clothes the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, yes, sir. how much more will he clothe you? Oh, ye of little faith. That's the problem. He clothed the grass. He clothed the field. He said, you are a little faith. Do you look at my creation and see how I replenish it every year? Wow. It die off in the wind and then come back without anybody putting any fertilizer on it. Come on. That's power. Hallelujah. But you worry about a shutdown and a president? Show you where your faith is. Go ahead. And ye seek not ye what ye shall eat, and seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye, neither be, be ye of doubtful mind. He said, I don't want you to be thinking about what you're going to eat or drink. Don't be a doubtful mind like, oh, I wonder what I'm going to eat today. Man, you just had breakfast. You just had dinner last night. You should be hungry. <laughs> well, folks, get up hungry. Go to bed hungry. Go to bed thinking about food and drink all day, all day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to push back a little bit. That's, right. That's our main focus on. We're going to get these stamps. We're going to get these Section 8 houses. We're going to get the insurance. The stock market going down, all this stuff, you ain't seeking the main important thing, which is the kingdom. Go ahead, he's going to tell you here. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. What he said, all these things are these nations of the world seek after. The food, the drink, the money, the clothes, all this stuff they're seeking after every day. That's their main objective, to seek after this stuff. What God said, go ahead. And your father knows that you have need of these things. He know you got need of it. Stress the word need. You got a house. You got somewhere to lay your head. It might not be the prettiest house. It may not be the, the best house. But you got somewhere to lay your head. It's not a need. That's right. 
you got a way to get back to work. It might be on the city bus, or it might be walking, but it's not a need, you getting to work. This is what people don't understand. They stress about stuff that ain't even real in God's book. They got to be looking like everybody else. I got to be clean. I got to ride a certain car and this and that. That's why I drive my old truck. Just keep myself at bottom bear. Like, just in case I might slip, I ain't going to slip too far. I've been driving that old truck for a long time. <laughs> long time. That's just mentality. So people don't think, okay, he think he all that. Let's see if God take that truck away from him. Okay, what am I going to do? It, it's just an old truck. Get another old one. But you out there stressing yourself out trying to pay a seven, eight hundred dollar car note, you lose that one. That's where all the women come from. Or that's where all the men come from. They looking at you. Ooh, look what they drive. Mm -hmm. Look what they drive. Yeah. Life folks so simple minded. <laughs> a car do not determine how much money you get. Period. When I see a car, a, a expensive car, I see truck note, house note, I see a lot of money coming out of my check. Yeah, right. mm. People don't want to see it. They ain't looking at a house you can pay for. You can get some equity out the house. They worry about a car. Shoot, man, come on. Go ahead, Ev. Verse 31. But, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. and all these things shall be added unto you. This is the problem right here. Why most people don't have what they have, why most people can't sustain what they have, because they're not seeking the kingdom first. It's in order. When you seek the kingdom, God gonna give you wisdom enough to say, look now, you don't need to over budget yourself. You might slip a little bit. You might not get 40 hours this week. You might get 30. Can your check sustain your lifestyle? Most of them know. No, they can't. They, they lifestyle, they check out to have two incomes in there to bring it in, to pay the bills. I always built my lifestyle on my income, period. Period. I don't care what my wife do, I don't care what my kids do, or check and anything, it's on me. Her job is to help me if I need it. And that's how men need to understand this thing too now. That's why we so stressed out because we're trying to keep things in this shutdown. Go ahead, brother. You're fan with that, sir. Let's go to Haggai. Haggai chapter 1. This is what you got to understand right here. He says, Seek the king, and all these things shall be added unto you. We got it in reverse. But well, we live in our best life. <laughs> we have the people that ride and stuff and got stuff can't even afford for themselves. They borrowing from somebody else. But they living their best life. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> chapter one. Or turn to your table, country. Get prepared for this shutdown. Don't be stressing, y'all. God ain't all about this stress. You can't add nothing to it. You lose, you just lose. It. You'll get it back if you got faith enough in God. But some people can't understand that because they don't have faith in God. They have faith in job. But this is what he's talking about. We got to handle the kingdom business. Kingdom business right here. And this is what people, it just slips their mind. Let's look at it. Haggai chapter 1, and we'll start verse 2. Go ahead. Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Joishtha. You got the house two? two? Yes. Take y'all one verse two? Yes. Sir. Start over. Go ahead. Start over. Mm -hmm. Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatel. Chapter one. One and verse two. One and verse two. Yeah. I'm in chapter two. <laughs> Speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, mm -hmm. This people say the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. So we're looking at the Lord's house. His house shall be built. We ain't even got a house. 
right now in our church, the house of Israel, we have my barbershop. We trying to get the house. Mm -hmm. But it's very key for you to understand. It will help you in the future. Go ahead. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet, saying, Yes, sir. Is it, is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your shield houses? In your houses. This right. house lie waste? He said, it's time for you to dwell in your seal house. The house that most people are so coveted after. Like, ooh, I got all the nice furniture. I got all the nice things in my house. But when it comes to the Lord's house, mm, it's okay. I give them a little bit of this and that. But when it comes to your house, you spend your whole check. <laughs> you spend your whole check to get it right. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to God's house, you ain't, you ain't really worried about that. Throw a dollar up there. I handle that. Or the feast day, I give them a dollar. Well, go ahead. This is what it's saying. It's very important. Go ahead. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. He said, consider your ways. Consider this. You have sown much. You done went out there and worked 40 hours, 50, 60, whatever in the hour. You got all this money, but you bring in little. Why? Go ahead. You eat, but you have not enough. Mm -hmm. You drink, but you are not filled with drinks. Mm -hmm. You close you, but there is none warm. Mm -hmm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. This is what people don't understand. I couldn't understand why my money would disappear away from me. Mm -hmm. When I was going through my life experience about sowing, reaping, and uh, taking care of the house of the Lord. I couldn't understand. I'm like, man, why I ain't got no money? Why I can't keep stuff on? I can't keep the, the, the phone bill on. Why I can't get cable like everybody else get cable? Why I can't ride in the house like everybody else ride? Run, 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 run. Why I can't you know, live in the house like everybody else live in the house? I went through all this stuff. My mama told me, she said, boy, you, 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 you robbing God. You ain't giving that to him. I went through for years, like, Man, I'm all right. God understand. Yeah, that's the problem. He do. Mm -hmm. He put holes in my pockets. I couldn't get sustained nothing. That's what wrong with people right here. They got a hold. They hold on to the president so 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 strong. They already dead. Let them go. That's why they call him dead president. Let them go. God want to get you some fresh new ones in there. Mm -hmm. But you hold on to them few dollars. Like you missing something. This is what he said. He said, consider your ways, man. This is the reason why you ain't taking care of the house of the Lord. Right now, everybody else is concerned about their house and they shut down. That's all they're concerned about. Their house. What they can do, what they're going to eat, what, how we going to make it. They ain't, they ain't worried about God. God, all right. He on the cattle on many hills. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Yes. But the thing is, God don't need the help. You do. I do. Go ahead. Verse 7. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Yes, sir. Consider your ways. Think about what you're doing. Think about it. Go ahead. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build a house, and I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified, said the Lord. He said, help out in building the house, whichever way you can. Only you know what you're doing if you're doing the best you can do. I don't know. I'm going to do the best I can. That's up to you. He said, go up to the hills and bring back stuff to build a house. Good stuff. Go ahead. You looked for much, and lo, it came to little. Mm -hmm. And when you brought it home, I did blow up on it. Mm. Why, says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is waste, and ye run every man unto his own house. God said, that little, 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 let's say you had about the $200, I'm going to blow on it. Now you, now you need a hot water heater. <laughs> Now your transmission went out on the truck. Now you, now you got cut from 30 hours to 20 hours. I want to know on it. Because you gonna take, you ain't gonna consider my house. You ain't gonna consider my business. You gonna consider the shirt down, what I need for my house. Ain't nobody talking about God right now. This lesson is strictly for people who are stressing over the shutdown. And the ones that are not stressing over the shutdown, those are the ones that have been taken care of. You understand what I'm saying? I don't get me wrong now. I understand it's a little stress. 
But sometimes we need to strip off a little of this stuff we got. Lose a little bit. You might feel a little better. And people say, man, Jeff, that was in Haggai them day. That back when Israel was over there in the land. Oh, yeah? Let's see if it happened in our day. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 11. That's just back over there in the land. Okay. <laughs> Ezekiel chapter 11. Just in case some people might be thinking, oh man, you know, we ain't got no house over here in our enemy land. You show how simple-minded people are. God trying to get you protection, get you money, sustain your lifestyle. The only thing you think about it, holding on tight to them dead presidents so you can get your seal houses up there, out the park. Let's see if it, them houses, God, would you take care of this house in this land? I mean, his house in this land. Verse 16, brother, go ahead. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, mm -hmm. although I have cast them far off among the heathen, mm -hmm. and although I have scattered them among the countries, Mm -hmm. Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. If you got some understanding, where are we? In our enemy's land. We from, the, we from Israel, over there in Jerusalem. And the reason why we got cast into slavery in 7 AD, God sent them slave ship over there from Titus. Over there in Titus, and took and scattered us amongst the heathens, amongst this land. We're going to touch on that next month in black history. So you know where you come from. He said, I shall be a little sanctuary unto you. Where? In the enemy land. Go ahead. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, mm -hmm. I will even uh, gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, yes, and I will give you the land of Israel. Ain't nobody talking about the land of Israel, period, amongst my people. Only a few. They don't even consider it at all. They so busy working for retirement. They so busy stressing out on the government. They so busy trying to get things. They so busy about that. And all this stuff going to be burned up. But one thing going to be burning too up if your, your salvation going to burn up if you ain't take care of the Lord's business. Keep worrying about the shutdown. Keep stressing about that. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 1. Our people don't even consider this, and he speaks this out the book. Isaiah chapter 1, saw so verse 2. Consider all these ways. It's working in our day too. God uh, said, so I call it the beginning for the end and the end for the beginning. There ain't nothing new on the sun. It's going to happen the way you say it. Period. Nothing. Once you think you can figure out the book, the book flip it on you like you flip it on me. <laughs> Every time. Isaiah chapter 1. Troy, try not to scribble on anything like that. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2. I want to get a sign on the camera. Go ahead, brother. Hear, O heaven. And give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. I got a news for you. That's us. He you know, brought up children, the nation of Israel, and they have rebelled against the Lord. Go ahead. The ox knows his own. Mm -hmm.